the last time we played this game, Virtual Pro Wrestling yes. 2, it was Taka versus Kenta Kabashi. There was a bit of a weighting difference. Mm -hmm. And somehow you beat my ass. Explain it to me. Maybe you do like a little flashback? Should I do a flash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still alive. No! Oh, yes! Oh. Let's go, Taka! <laughs> but now you've started to dress as Taka. As almost oh. as an insult to me, which oh, is yeah. which is kind of weird. Oh yeah. And then another thing, the fraternity was maybe the first team that was hit by a flip flop by you. We did it to Toronto. We did it here, right? On impact. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was the first team you did it to. And then what do I see? Yeah. You have a toy. Yeah. Well, and you've got the chocolate in with the toy. Yeah. So now I'm starting to think: Do we have heat? What's the problem? <laughs> what did I do to you? If anything, you should feel the, uh, great that you inspired uh, something that was immortalized in plastic. Hey, I'll take it. Yeah, there <laughs> you like, go. Like saying like that. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not hard to win over. <laughs> you know what I do like? Outdoor venues and video games. Let's do it. It always adds a little yeah. something extra. It always looks better, but actually being outdoors and wrestling is not fun. Yeah, the, the crowd noise is gone. Yeah it's, yeah, it's not a great look when you do, like, oh, these two are more in the old school. They have the big baseball diamond. Mm -hmm. And the crowd's on one side, the camera goes, and it's just like full baseball. Yeah. The yeah. of empty is. Yeah. <laughs> but unless you come out, if you get that helicopter entrance, Oh, that's sick, diamond, right? exactly. Then it, then it all starts to make sense here. This is true. I've got an insurance policy today. Okay. I'm going with Masawa. Oh. You're not going to make it easy for me, huh? You know, I feel a uh, kinship with Masawa. We're both kind of uh, not six-pack shaped <laughs> men. <laughs> You'll see some people renamed, because I thought in my mind I was going to rename everybody. And I started to do it. Okay. And I was like, I cannot do this they anymore. Did, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever do the thing in like the SmackDown games uh -huh. where you would be like, you'd have to make somebody, and so you go online and it'd be like, pick number forty-five for his T-shirt number. Uh huh. Or, you yeah, ever yeah, stuff sure. like that. They give you the tape like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh man, I used to spend a lot of time on that. There we go. There we go. So that's the one that you you're wearing, eh, right yeah. now? Yeah. Let's do it. So, I don't know, maybe there's some long-term storytelling going on here that you and I are gonna feud over yeah. flip-flops and uh, virtual pro wrestling. Sure, we can do this when we get great, too. We'll be old men, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll still be talking shit. It's long-term storytelling exactly. here. Exactly. Where, where are you gonna retire to, that's the question. Retire? I think Montana, get a, get a ranch. You're a ranch man? Yeah, I wanna be a ranch And not yet. I'm, I'm very much still like a city slicker, you know what I mean? Yes. I, I just moved to Atlanta, so I like it, it's great. Having a home, I grew up in apartments my whole life, but uh, it's a, I'm, I'm starting to love to do yard work. I feel so, oh my such God. a sense You're of You're ruining the character for uh, yourself. What do you mean? <laughs> Fuck. People are never gonna look at you the same way. Uh, I'm not that young New York punk <laughs> anymore. Wow. I'm a, I'm a dad, I'm a father, man. Is that what it does it to you? Just, it, you get into a whole new realm when you become a father? Yeah, kind of, man. Because, I mean, your priorities change. And yeah, I, I, it becomes more about my son and giving him the best life possible. And just moving to Atlanta would just, you know, it's just a different culture down there, good schools. I wanted to grow up in a house, have a big yard, have a dog, you know what yeah. I mean? Not grow up in the apart, not grow up in the gritty city of New York. Like, uh, there's ups and downs to doing that because it made me tough and it made me who I am and it prepared me for a life in professional wrestling. But I think you can you could replicate that with uh, the way you parent. Yeah. So you gotta you're gonna take your son to like uh, public transit and just you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta give him a little taste. Yeah. I, he can't grow up soft. You, know, you, got, you, you gotta give him some adversity. You to gotta go replicate that New York. Yeah, experience. yeah, for sure. Here we go. The rematch. Here it is. Did you think it was gonna happen? I did. You when I saw you, that that that's what was like, come on, where it is it? Oh, oh all right, there, there we go. go. That's how you started. This is, we're going strong style today. Come on. This is always the greatest part of these videos is once you get two competitive people playing, we might just be silent for the rest uh -huh. of the day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because you get really into it. Oh man, hey, let, let me get up one Barbara Walters question in here. Sure. Can I, I don't get... know much about her, but let's, <laughs> let's do it. She seems like a nice lady. Oh, look at that reversal. Yeah. The, uh, can I get a top three AEW matches of yours? Uh, that I've done thus far, I will say 
Off the top of my head, uh, definitely the parking lot match with best friends. Yeah, yeah that was sure. definitely one of our crowning achievements in the company. Um, I really enjoyed our first match with the Young Bucks at Full Gear. Yeah. Um, oh, there it is. Let's go, Taka. Was, was that with the Was that the Yankees gear? Was that the first? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. First time we were. Oh. Yankees, yeah. So uh, I'll give a little insight in in, in that Yankee oh, gear yeah. thing. So we had just um, got the gear made. We got the gear made specifically for the match. But my gear was being done all day that day. So you know. As I'm coming out, the seamstress at AEW was still putting together wow. my gear, and I was about to have to go out. So, um, uh, needs to say, she did a rush job on it, and um, it looked cool. Yeah, it did. I, I, I've changed it since and got it uh, changed, but that first day, uh, midway through the match, the buttons came on us oh, and okay. ripped on me. So I went to go do the uh, homicide dive, the the helo yeah. through the middle rope. Uh, I forgot to which buck, but I had to like hold my pants together <laughs> because they were falling down as I was running to do the dive. Oh wow. Yeah, and then for the rest of the match, I had to like wrestle kind of holding my pants. If you go back and watch the match, you can see it. The really fun one, uh, the stadium stampede. Ah, uh, yes. That was a lot of fun. Um, Different I, than a wrestling match, obviously, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would say, yeah, I would put that S3. The first thing I don't want to force like, your hand on No, that. not at all, not at all. That was, it, it was such a iconic match. It was yeah. uh, kind of like, uh, it, it, it was very unique in the uh, cinematic wrestling era, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because kind of like a lot of people were doing it. And I, I wasn't, it's not like me and Santana were strangers at um, doing the cinematic wrestling. We did yeah. a few of it at Impact. We did like one or two. We did one with the OGs where we actually fought out in Toronto. Like right. the skyline was in the back, yes. at, in front of the Rebel Complex. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But definitely, I, I would put Stadium Stampede as a third, for sure. Okay. But I'm more going down the line, of course, Taka. Like, I, I, I really, I want to wrestle more Super Junior style. Like, yeah. as much as I like doing the, um, the uh, cinematic or the big gimmick matches, like Blood and Guts and stuff like that, like, I really want to get back to basics. Which is why I'm holding right. the taco gear now, and I I want to go like hold for hold, do some cool shit, you know what I mean, and just uh, be a wrestler's wrestler. So that was your top three. Now, what's your top future match? <laughs> what hasn't happened? I really, really, really want to wrestle Brian. Like, oh, yeah. I want to have the type of match that Garcia had with him. You know what right. I mean? If I'm very fortunate. Uh, uh, which is why lately I've been oh. doing more and more indies. So oh, I can prepare myself for maybe you're getting ready for him. Yeah, just just in general, I'm getting ready. I'm just I need the reps. You know what I mean? Uh, the double edge sort of AEW. I'm waiting for your special. I know you out. bastard. Yeah, the double edge of uh, uh of AEW is like we get a lot of downtime, which is great. Yeah. Uh, but the downside of that is I, I need reps. It's just like if you haven't done push-ups in a while, you're gonna be sore. Right. And uh, if your body isn't conditioned to getting beat up and getting thrown around in the ring, it sucks when you get beat up and get thrown around the ring after not doing it for like say a month or two. Right. Maybe. Especially if you're if it's a Daniel Bryan that you're going on. Exactly. Exactly. And I, I'm the type of person that needs to do to get better. You know what I mean? I can't just like think about it or something like that. I need to actually go through the movements. You don't do an ayahuasca session and uh, visualize <laughs> the whole thing? I mean, I would love to. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe one day, right? Nice combo. Oh. Oh. oh that's it. That's got to be it. Come on. Not even your finisher. One, it's a tiger bomb. Two, the Mr. Clean referee. Oh. oh let's go, Taka. Oh. I, I, I'm always big on the finishers. You got to finish a match. Nice and clean. Oh. See, this always pissed me off. People like you, no class. Not you, but on. people like you. I'm willing to I'm willing to do what it takes to win. But you understand that a low blow finishes the match. Yeah, it, I mean it should, but Masawa is just a beast apparently. <laughs> one thing that I did, I don't know if I ever told you about this. I had one friend, he was a Serbian man. Uh-huh. And he loved Paige Storyakovic. Okay. The basketball three-point shooter. Yep, yep. So before he came over, I went into the game, made his three-point rating terrible. I went to the settings, <laughs> okay. ruined the rating. The guy was so pissed playing the game because he missed every shot, uh -huh. he turned it off before half. So, 
So is, is that what you did now? No, no, no. Ah, just, you did say that you did put on, I don't know what you just did there. <laughs> <laughs> but I bugged myself. Yeah, you did just say that you put it on this morning. I did say, I did practice for this because I didn't want to I didn't want to lose twice in a row because there's no story for a third match. Okay, you're yeah. right. There it is, right? In 2030, we gotta look at the third match. Oh no, this is not going well for me. I'm oh, just countering everything. I, I know. can't get any kind of momentum on you. But might you do another uh, Japanese-themed attire? You just talk of. Ah, uh, well, my plan is to do all the early 90s uh, Michi guys. Oh, really? So yeah, I'm definitely gonna do uh, Funaki, I'm Very gonna do cool. Men's Tale, I might do a Dig Togo uh, tribute one. Um, I, one of my favorites is Grand Naniwa. Yeah. Another crab guy. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna do it all. Yeah. Eddie uh, Kingston did a Masawa, did you know? Yes, he did. Yeah. He did a Masawa tribute here. Very cool. Yeah. I think the colors, this exact colors. He did the silver yeah. and green, yeah. You were getting your oh. But this low blow is not phasing you at all. <laughs> He's wearing a cup. His strong grapple is a headlock? What is going on here, Taka? <laughs> you see, I think you did fudge no. with the, uh, the controls. See, I shouldn't have said that because now you can never trust me. No. You know that I would do that to somebody yeah, else. Yeah, exactly. What stops you from doing it so, to me? Someone I called a friend. So, yeah, well, listen, that, that'll keep things interesting for you here. This is true. But not a lot of spirit coming from both of us, which makes me wonder what we're doing wrong. I'm going to get my back rolls in here, get warmed up. Got to get limber for the match. Today you have uh, Trey McGill. Trey Can McGill, I, yeah. Do, have you wrestled before? I wrestled him oh, one, oh. one time only in a triple threat match. It was me, Santana, and the Rado Kid versus the Rascals. That was a and, lot of uh, a lot of action. Yeah, that was the one and only time we touched, other than the match that we had with Zach and Desmond. Uh, I forgot where we were at. We might have been in Philly. We might have been in the. Um, uh, of course, you counter it. <laughs> counter uh, uh, the arena, and yeah. I think we. We had a tag team title match, and I think I took Trey's Meteora. So oh, okay. That is the two only times we've touched in our career, and we've been in a lot of wrestling locker rooms together, so yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited for tonight. Makes me think. Yeah, that. counter everything. That's a low blow. Look at that. That's like the 20th low blow I've given the This has been what? And it's just, look, he's doing back rows. This has pretty much been a Rochambeau since the beginning. Yeah. Of the day. <laughs> Nothing. Come on, Taka. There we go. It's a strike off. <laughs> no, you rap bastard. You know what? I, on, should, I should have known a snake when I saw yeah, one. Hey. You, you're, you're breaking me down. You're going to make me win my clothesline if I have to. I'm just willing to do what's necessary. How did I fall out the ring? By any means necessary. Yeah, there man. we go. That's it. Let's just finish. You're, you're, I mean, Masawa's one of Masawa's finisher was the elbow. You could have finished me with the elbow. But it wasn't the spear. Now, here's the, this is what you get. You wanted a rematch? <laughs> you put of this course, on yourself. Of course on the up, right? You're going to talk all that Tombstone. shit. Tombstone. Come on, bro. You bro. put this on yourself. Are you kidding me? 20 of low blow, but I guarantee you're going to count through this. Watch. There uh, it is. Uh, Look. Uh, Come on. You can't tell me you messed with the settings. Let's do you that. You messed with the settings. One. Two, three, oh my. Uh, See? But here we go. <laughs> this is the international sign language for bullshit. Come After, on, man. I showed you a nice time here. You did show me a nice time. We did a rematch. Ass. We got even. All right, so one and one. You beat me with Taka. Okay. I beat you with Masawa. Okay. The rematch, when, when should we book it for? 2030? 2030. Should, you think we can get like a storage closet on MSG or something? Yeah, yeah. The next one is. I'm with that. That sounds great. It's a plan. I'm booking the venue. Okay, <laughs> let's make it happen. Ow!